Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for you at the time you watch this video. What is it that you need to know? What's being highlighted for you? Keep an open mind. Take what resonates. You're going to have to use your own discernment to put the messages where they fit in your life if you feel that they do. If the reading makes no sense to you, as it either hasn't happened yet, so you don't know what I'm talking about, or it's not your reading today, that's also a possibility. Look at all the other videos on the channel. Just have a glance at, at, the, at the other videos. See what calls out to you. Trust your intuition with that because your intuition will take you to where you have messages, okay? So just keep in mind and always just have a glance at what else is on the channel, okay? Um, uh, this deck is the... Hold on, hold on. Charmin Caselli Tarot deck. For those of you who want to know, that's how you spell things. Okay. All right. Hit that like button for me, guys. And thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your feedback. You're sharing your stories with me. Really appreciate it. Your donations. Everything you do is appreciated. And it helps the channel grow. Six of Swords. We had the Six of Swords yesterday, didn't we? Okay, interesting. Moving on from something, rather moving towards better times, happier times, easier times. We'll take it. Okay. All right, Pisces. And for those of you who don't know, if you want more short to the point, day-to-day -day type events, um, daily readings, I do that on my other channel, Advice to Think Twice, for all signs, regardless of your placements. That channel is linked in the description box below, so if you haven't visit it me over there and you want to go have a look okay all right pisces all that being said i think we have new people if you're new say hi welcome and if you're coming back welcome back all right okay all that being said what's going on for pisces nine of wands four of swords six of swords don't get sucked back into something just keep going just keep just let it go just keep going okay there's been a ten of swords situation you put your foot down you put a boundary up you said f it i'm out keep going okay don't look back so that could be a specific message for someone all right pisces what's going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video, what do they need to know for their highest good? And this could be picking up on the energy of the day, something that's been going on recently, something that's about to happen, or it's a situation you've been dealing with for quite some time and you haven't been able to figure out, could be picking up on that, okay? All right, bottom of the deck, five of wands. Well, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up my sleeves. Let's do the thing. Well, the Five of Wands can be chaos, conflict, competition. Everyone wants to talk, no one wants to listen. Um, could be people pulling you in a lot of different ways. Could be people asking things of you all at the same time, and you're like, I'm only one person. Like, I, I hear one ridiculous problem at a time, please, okay? Um, this could be just, for some of you on a very daily level, this could be where you literally have to babysit or you have to work with people who are like children and you have to be the one to just make sure everyone's, you know, they're not going to physically fight one another because that's, you know, because they're immature or, or whatever. That could be a way that that plays out. Um, this could also be inner conflict of, I really want to say something, but okay, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take a breath and be the bigger person. Um, this could also be some sort of contest or some sort of competition type um, event or circumstance, formal or informal. Okay. In the current situation, we have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like this is, um, this could talk about changes in your job, in your status, um, residence, could be a lot of traveling back and forth. That could be the, the source of, of pressure okay you got a lot to do a lot to do and a lot of places to get to and you're on on the road a lot at this time or there's a change in status or this could be someone who just comes in starts some ish and then takes off let's see in the challenge position we have the emperor aries energy um yeah this is confidence strength security making executive decisions stability um so for some, this could be where someone's trying to impress the boss or someone's trying to impress the authority figure in the room and they're just kind of getting a little crazy, right? It's getting a little bit out of hand. 
Um, this could be where someone's trying to impress you or someone's trying to get your attention somehow. But I also see like you're gonna have to keep an eye on a situation or keep an eye on a person or some people because there's there's a chance for things to get out of hand fast and to escalate today and you might be able to catch it and prevent it from escalating. Look, in the foundation we have the devil, Capricorn energy. There's someone, for some of you, I feel like this is someone intentionally trying to push your buttons. Or they're just doing too much trying to get your attention. Vice versa, if someone's trying to get you to do too much to get their validation, wow. You need to look at that and figure out how you want to respond. I know how I would respond if someone tried to manipulate me into, what, earning their approval? Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hold your breath. See how that goes. Um, in the recent past, Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, some sort of decision, some sort of, could also be, I've, I get ultimatum with this, which I don't usually, but yeah, some sort of ultimatum. Or a decision made with the Ace of Swords that this person is now trying to get you to change or overturn. But there's an element of obsession here. There's an element of immaturity. There's an element of people not in control, not in charge of themselves somehow. So whether they're being manipulated or lied to and, and they're just kind of getting ahead of themselves, I don't know. There's something here. On the mind, we have the Four of Wands. So it could have to do with a home, a living situation, a family dynamic, a relationship, a commitment, a job, a promotion, some sort of prize with the Four of Wands is what everyone's going after with the Five of Wands. Okay, recognition, stability, another four. It could also be where you're getting something and you have jealous people around you because that's the world we live in, unfortunately. Um, and they may be trying to start some stuff today. I don't know. But I feel it's more, it's snide. It's manipulation. It's not in your face. It's passive aggressive comments. It's uh, backhanded compliments. It's um, making fun. And then when you call them up on it, pull them up on it, they go, oh, no, 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 I was just kidding. It's that, that, those kind of people okay because I'm trying to keep it clean for YouTube I do not those, like those type of people though so what's going on today we have the four of cups we have the page of swords and the hierophant yeah this is you're disappointed but you're gonna just take a breath and not say anything about it and focus on the bigger picture it has to do with again some sort of commitment we had the hierophant the other day as well so a focus on family, a focus on rules, regulations, a focus on a commitment, long-term contract, long-term bond, uh, tradition, expectations. Um, it's also some sort of contract with the Page of Swords, definitely. Being accepted somewhere, being welcomed somewhere, being included, being um, registered, something along those lines. But I feel like you're a little bit disappointed with how people are handling it. So for example, this is where you get an inheritance and it could be a home, right? Because there's some sort of legal decision that has happened. And you have a person or a group of people, could be siblings with the five of wands, could be neighbors, making a claim that you know what no that should be theirs or they should get a piece of it or they should get this or they should get that and challenging someone's decision you know what I mean where they have no place and no business doing so and it kind of disappoints you that this is how they choose to act but you're saying you know what there's no point talking to them there's no point explaining to them why they're acting a fool it is what it is I'm just going to take my hands off it leave it to the higher power to decide and I'm just going to Sign the paperwork, go through the process, all that, right? Not going to deal with them. This could be where you get the job because you beat out the competition and someone's trying to talk about how you cheated or how you did something underhanded or how, you know what I mean? But this is someone who they come in fast, they leave just as fast because they got nothing to no foot to stand on right they have no stability they have no consistency 
they're just a ball of chaos and it's it's that person that always blames everyone else for their problems or if something good happens to someone else and not them they have an opinion about it they feel wronged they're a victim in that situation even though it had absolutely nothing to do with them and i feel like you see them for who they are because with the emperor looking at it you're like oh, okay i thought i was hoping you'd grown up a little bit but no okay i don't care if they're 30 40 or 50 that immaturity is immaturity okay and with the four of cups they might be trying to make amends that's that's hot and cold behavior they're saying stuff and then they go oh, i never said that what do you mean i love you you know and you're just going never mind whatever just go away right with the four of cups you're like i don't even i want to talk to you i don't want to talk to you i don't want to deal with you you do the same thing all the time i don't want to talk to you right so let's see Let's get more cards out for Pisces. Knight of Wands in the current situation. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like you you got something, you're getting something, or you're getting yourself together, you're getting yourself, you know, in a good place when it comes to your your health, mental, emotional, physical, your finances, your abundance, your stability, Queen of Pentacles or you've actually come into some money or you're coming into some money or a new source of income as in you got a job right or you're getting inheritance or uh you're starting some sort of partnership or you're starting some sort of relationship that's very healthy very stable very prosperous right and here they come charging in this could also be someone like coming at you under false pretenses they're 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 trying to get in the door by pretending to celebrate your win only to start talking to everyone else there about how they think you got that because you know it can't be right you did something you must have done something you know it's that person so be mindful the emperor in the challenge position we have the three of cups yeah this is someone easily swayed this is someone who it's a gossip they're a gossip and because they're a gossip, they care about what other people gossip about them. Um, it's a bit of a mess. This is someone in your circle, someone in your community. Sibling, friend. Could be an ex that's pretending to be your friend, but they're never, they never were your friend. They just wanted to stick around, and that was the only way they could have to stick around, right? Because you weren't going to take them back. The devil in the foundation, the six of wands, I'm telling you. It has to do with the fact that you're getting attention, you're getting recognition, they're not. They're not near you, they can't associate with you because there was some sort of separation here with the ace of swords. So now they don't have access to you. This could be you or someone close to you or someone you're dealing with, okay, if it's not you directly. This is something you're observing, something you're seeing, and you might have to bring it up to this person, right? But there's, there's recognition here, there's fame, there's popularity, and it's triggered someone's jealousy, possessiveness, control issues. This is someone you've had a separation from, a very uh, truthful conversation with where you put up a boundary, you said no to them, or you told them to stop asking for something, or you told them to keep their distance, or there was a formal separation, so you didn't associate with them and everyone knows it. Ace of Swords in the recent past. Two of Swords, yep. You made a decision, you told them no, and you said, that's it, we're not negotiating. And I feel like that's also something that triggered this person with the Emperor and the Devil here. Because it's like, how very dare you take power in the situation? I'm, I'm the one calling the shots. I'm the one that should say we're not talking anymore. I'm the one. This is the type of person that if you block them, they'll play nice so you unblock them just so they can block you. This is that person. Okay, this is that person. So just be mindful. Four of Wands on the mind, the tower. Listen, they, mm, they're just a ball of chaos. They are a ball of chaos. If you let them, you're building stability for yourself. You have a few fours out already. You're building stability for yourself and this person cannot handle it. Okay, they cannot handle it. They want to wreck it. They want to wreck it because that will make them feel better. That will make them feel like they have control in the situation. This is someone driven by pride, ego, to an unhealthy extent, 
to where I don't care what I have to do. I'm just going to go in there and cause some stuff. I don't care. I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to go there and break stuff. If I got nothing else to do, I'm going to break something of theirs. I don't know who this is, but you're going to have to be very, very careful and keep this person at a distance. You've already put up a, a barrier and a block. Don't, don't take it down. Don't take it down. Don't be fooled by them trying to act nice. Okay? And it's similar messages we've been getting. Okay, so let's see. Four of Cups, Page of Swords, the Hierophant. We have the world. We have the sun. The Queen of Swords, protect. What's yours? Okay, there's some sort of recognition. There's some sort of, again, you're the center. Of, you're in the center of attention. You're in the spotlight. You're getting something. Something's given to you, granted to you, awarded to you. Look at all the wreaths here. Sun, popularity, fame. You had the sun again, or recently, right? Some sort of victory, some sort of award, prize, fame for some. Queen of Swords, you're going to have to protect it. Keep that sword up. Do not lower that sword when it comes to this person or this group of people. Don't be fooled. You're not fooled. What else for Pisces? Two of Cups, Temperance, Three of Pentacles. Focus on the new partnership with the Two of Cups and Temperance here. There's a divine union happening. There's a, a beautiful partnership, but mutual, a healthy partnership towards collaboration, towards with someone who's a like-minded person or a like-minded group of people or a company you can really build a future with. Focus on that. Protect that, okay? Protect that at all costs. Under the Five of Wands, Page of Cups. Listen, look at them. They're trying to talk to you by playing nice. Maybe apologize for something they did or said because you haven't been speaking to them with the hangman. You kind of left them hanging because of this behavior. So now they have no choice but to try to play nice. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Because you, you have a new beginning because you left them behind with the death card. And not only are you, are you still fine, right, without them in your life, how very dare you, but you are creating a new stable beginning for yourself. You're getting recognized. You're getting seen. And they want to come in and wreck it. If they can't have it, they're going to wreck it. If they can't make claim to it, they're going to wreck it. So just, you see who this person is. You see who they are. You're just going to have to treat them accordingly, okay? Don't be fooled. Don't try to be too nice. This isn't that time, Pisces. This is the time for very strong boundaries, Queen of Swords, taking no BS, not responding, not engaging for our cups, not giving in, not letting them push your buttons, okay? Toil and labor. This is someone going to try very hard to get your attention. Like I told you, they're a little bit obsessed in an unhealthy way. And the best, you're going to have to figure out the best way to handle this person because you know who they are and how to handle them. But from looking at these cards, the best way to handle them is to maintain that block that you put up, to keep that boundary up, to keep that actual block up, right, when it comes to communication. Do not engage with this person. Do not negotiate with them. Do not let them get a foot in the door because they'll, they're going to wreck that building. If you let, let them put a foot in the door, they're going to wreck the building. Okay? The only reason they're playing nice is to get through the door. It could be a male with the main male and despair. Gift. We've seen this reading recently. Okay? They're trying to buy their way in. They're trying, and it, that could be an apology, right? They've never apologized, so they think if they apologize, that's really going to impress you and show you that they've changed, right? This is someone who plays games. It's all about strategy. They could actually try to buy you something or buy your forgiveness somehow or um, to get into your good graces. They're going to play nice with the gift energy. They're going to try to give you something they know you want. They're going to work really hard. And if it's not a male, it's someone who's very forceful. Okay, what else for Pisces? We have bad health. This is someone who's in a bad place in their own life, but that's their own doing. This could also be someone using that as an excuse. I'm sorry. And I'm not saying they're not having issues. I'm just saying they're using that to get you to feel sorry for them, and you're just going to have to make your own decisions about that. 
courthouse adjudication here with the ace of swords they're trying to either get you to withdraw paperwork that you submitted against them or some sort of action you've taken against them and that could even be a restraining order or you know or um, reporting them somewhere right they're trying to get you to withdraw that or drop the case or this is what they did in the past that made you put up a wall and go listen you're being ridiculous they try to attack you or your assets or your property or something that was given to you granted to you awarded to you passed down to you and that is what got you to put up a block what else for Pisces we have mature man, privileged lady. You are gonna protect your assets. You're wiser with the Hierophant there, with the Emperor, you're wiser. You're gonna protect your property, you're gonna protect your assets, and that could also be your resources, could also be your, your peace of mind, your health, mental, emotional, because this person is a thief. This person is a source of chaos and a source of just, just they're a black hole. And they're trying to figure out a way to get back. Because you got some sudden wealth. Be very, very careful, Pisces. And they don't. They didn't get it. And they have an issue. Why did you get it and they didn't get it? Well, because you worked for it. Did they work for it? No, but they want it. How does that work? Okay? So, Pisces. Be very careful. You've been warned. You're going to have to figure out how you want to handle this person from what I'm looking at in these cards. The best way to handle it that's, that I'm seeing here is to not engage. Not engage. Do not engage. Okay? Because they're going to try very hard to, to get in, in your good graces, get back in your good graces. But they have an agenda and it's not a pleasant one. They just want what you have or they, if they can't have it, you can't have it. Be very careful. Meanwhile, over here, you've got this amazing thing that is given to you, awarded to you, granted to you, passed down to you, a commitment, a contract, a gift of abundance. It's something that will keep on giving, right? And it's very important that you protect it from whatever this mess is over here, okay? And that's going to be up to you. Pisces, that's what I have for us today. Let me know how I resonate with the reading. Heads up, you've been warned, okay? You know who this person is. You know what they're about. Trust yourself. Don't let them make you question what you think about them. And no, you're absolutely right about them. You were absolutely right to do what you did to protect yourself from them. Just keep doing that, okay? For whatever that's worth. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.